The project is looking at human-like controllers for automated vehicles in the future and my research group is really looking at the human factors of automated vehicle in general the challenges that exist and then here they are acting as evaluators of that automation so they say whether they like it or they don't like it how safe they feel and so on so this is where the human aspect comes in where actual users decide how that feels and that information is then used to tweak the controllers into more human-like controllers for real-world testing by our partners in Cranfield. The data we're looking at is basically driver's behavioural data. So this is how they steer, what speed they're going at, where they position the vehicle on the road. And we're also looking at driver-based data, so where they're looking using our eye trackers, what their heart rate is like using a biopack system, and also ratings of what they think of the automated controllers. One of the fundamental premises of the Human Drive project is to try to get the vehicle to drive much more smoothly. And the way that we drive smoothly as humans is that we allow ourselves to kind of move back and forth in the lane without trying to steer really aggressively and stay on a very precise path. So we're getting the information about that driving, about the range of paths that are acceptable, and we're implementing that in the actual vehicle. And what this allows is twofold. One, responses to things like parked cars and moving away from them, but the second one is also much less steering input, so a much smoother and comfortable ride. In addition to the studies that we're doing here in the simulator, we're also doing studies on the real road. And this is always really important because we want to make sure that the simulation doesn't diverge too much from reality. So we need to be collecting a bunch of data in the real world. But in the simulation, we can also test a lot of things that are difficult to test in the real world, be them safety related or just a lot of different parameters that we want to be able to test quickly in the sim. Initially, we'll get them to drive around the movie test track, as you can see behind me. And during that period, we'll capture their own drive and play that back. So the data we capture is important for the project delivery because we're looking at how we can develop the risk model. So the data that we've captured with end users when they've been driving manually, and in terms of their risk perception and where they might position themselves on the road, the speed that they take is going to be reviewed by the University of Leeds to look at how they can filter that into a risk model. What we did see, again, as we would expect, is that some people believed that they were the best driver on the road. They had different mental models about what they thought safe driving was. So I think that's going to be really interesting to look at now when they get in an autonomous car. Do those attitudes affect how they might perceive an autonomous vehicle? especially as they won't be in control anymore. One of the things that's important about automated vehicles is that they need to feel comfortable. So at the moment, the controllers are quite clunky, very machine-like, and they don't work like we drive. So what is really important is to make them more comfortable so then that increases public acceptance and comfort of the automated vehicles.